Hey, hi guys. Welcome to Electricity Market in India. I'm your host Rajiv and today's presentation is general network access or you can say it is how the connectivity works for the power plants. This video has been requested multiple times by a lot of people in other uh, video presentation of my channel. So I decided to make a video on this because this is a very hot topic today because from 1st October 2023, India has now moved towards GNA and it has been implemented by power grid across India. So to, in today's video, uh, since it's a very long topic, I have decided to make it split by split. So in part one, we will focus more into uh, what exactly is GNA, why it was needed, what was the issue with the previous uh, uh, grid system and why this new system is going to help easing that thing. So those uh, who are new to this channel, I would uh, request you to consider subscribing to this channel hit the like button if you like today's video and hit the bell notification if you don't miss out don't want to miss out any future uploads in this channel uh, do visit your earlier videos on open access and power trading so that you can have a firm idea about indian power sector in general so let's uh, start today's presentation now we need to understand uh, that uh, in india if there is any power plant be it thermal power plant or it is a or if it is a hydro power plant or if it is a renewable power plant such as solar and wind one thing which is common for all these different type of power plants are that they need to be connected to the grid for the power to flow from their uh, substation to the nearest grid now uh, if the power plant is connected to the nearest grid that can be of three types so first if the power plant is small say it is of size of say one or two megawatt or five megawatt or 10 megawatt of size then generally these power plants are connected to the state distribution substation grid and the voltage level of these power plants are in the range of 11 kv or 22 kv or 33 kv uh, similarly if the power plant size is slightly bigger so somewhere around 50 megawatt or say up to 100 megawatt so generally these uh, uh, power plants are connected to the state transmission unit and that is in the voltage level of around 66 or 132 or 220 kV. However, there are certain kinds of power plants which are very big in size such as 500 megawatt or 1000 megawatt. Generally thermal power plants used to be of these sizes and uh, nowadays you have a lot of renewable power plants coming up uh, of this size which are called mega power plants. And these power plants generally supply power to the central government or they have a power purchase agreement with central government such as uh, SECI if it is a renewable we have seen in the last seven eight years solar energy corporation of india is uh, being deputed by government of india to sign all the long-term power purchase agreements with uh, solar and wind developers and on the other side they sell that power to various distribution companies in india various state governments in india so these big power plants generally are connected at a much higher voltage level that is 220 kV and above and these connections with the central grid are known as central transmission unit connections and these are generally of 220 kV and higher. So we understand that if whatever size the power plant is that needs to be connected with the grid and for that connection that can be of at different voltage levels. And depending on the different voltage levels, your connection with the nearest grid could be at state distribution level or it could be at the state transmission level or at central transmission level. Now, uh, similarly, since uh, continuing on the previous slide, the grant of connectivity, uh, if you are a developer or if you are a uh, generator, you need to take the grant of connectivity of your power plant with the nearest grid. So if you are uh, a generator whose power plant is connected with the grid at 11, 22 or 33 kV, you need to apply to the to your state distribution company for getting the connectivity. Similarly, if your power plant is at certain higher voltage level, uh, bigger size and you are connected to the nearest transmission utility at 66, 132, 220, then you need to take permission from that state transmission utility for flowing flow of power from your power plant to the nearest transmission unit and then you need to take a trans, uh, uh, approval from them and if you have power plant which is connected at 220 kV and higher at central transmission 
utility then you need to take an approval from power grid for flow of power from your power plant to the grid so this is a typical uh, distribution network of a city so as you all can see uh, the blue colors are basically the low, low tension poles and the red one are the high tension poles so in case uh, any small uh, solar power plant or wind power plant wants to connect with the nearest grid then what they will do is they will request uh, from the distribution company for a grant of connectivity and they will check all these uh, small small substations or the feeders where uh, there is any uh, injection capability available or not and if it is available then they will grant that connectivity to them similarly if you see the transmission network of a state for example i've taken the state of uttar pradesh stu network here and you can see that uh, most of the lines of the transmission system are of uh, uh, 132 kv which are in the green color 220 kv uh, 220 kv is in the green color 132 kv lines are in the gray color red ones are the 400 kv transmission lines which is the majority and the deep blue one is the 765 uh, kv line so uh, once uh, similarly if your power plant is at 132 uh, going to be connected at 132 kv and above that is the size of the plant is somewhere around 50 megawatt and above if it is a solar plant then uh, you need to apply for the grant of connectivity with, you, with the transmission company uh, which in for the case of uttar pradesh it is up ptcl which is uttar pradesh power transmission corporation limited and they will check whether there is any existing uh, uh, power substation has any injection capability available in these substations and if it is available they will grant the connectivity to the developer or solar developer or the generator if it is a thermal power plant now uh, similarly if your uh, plant is of higher network as we discussed previously in the slide that the project sites are of like 500 megawatt and above and uh, the connection has to be at the ctu level then uh, this is the picture of uh, the CTU network of India and the black black small uh, uh, if you can I don't know whether you are able to see it or not but these small black uh, points which you see are the thermal power plants and you can see they are connected with the inter-regional transmission system uh, and uh, similarly if you are a solar developer or a wind developer who is putting up a 500 uh, megawatt kind of project then you need to apply to the power grid and they will check in this existing system whether there is injection capability available or not and if there is uh, additional uh, infrastructure needs to be built and they will do the assessment and they will build that the more of that will cover in the next part of the presentation where we'll discuss about the gna and how the uh, how the uh, grant of connectivity is given to these developers if their existing infrastructure is not available